I bought the greatest Nintendo accessories ever made. And in this video, we are going to test every single one of them. Let's first start with the main reason why you probably own a Nintendo Switch, which is Mario Kart. Now you may not know that you can actually buy these incredibly cool steering wheels to enhance the experience to the next level. These come in two different variations. You can pick yourself up the Pro Wheel or the Mini. Now the Pro Wheel costs around $110 expensive because it is like a toy whereas the mini isn't too bad at around sort of 54 55 dollars uh, and it still does the same job now obviously the pro version of this wheel is more appropriate for an adult due to its size and the mini is more catered towards uh, kids and children which probably a mass majority of people would be buying this version anyways however if you have a lot of social parties with your friends and family buying a couple of these mini wheels could actually be a lot of fun now each of these wheels do come well that is really small that's tiny mate but each of these wheels do come with a complete pedal set as well you know what? that's actually not that bad it actually looks quite cool it's even got paddle shifters and because they're so lightweight they don't have any form of a table clamp they literally just stick to the table with these little suction cups you can just mount it to the table and go ahead and play which means they're incredibly easy to set up now of course if you didn't want to use the pedals there's nothing wrong with them they do the job for mario kart uh, but it's an extra thing obviously for you to set up the buttons on the steering wheel are reprogrammable so for example if you didn't want to uh, use these as shifters or something you could actually use these for accelerate and brake that again makes the simplicity of just setting these up uh, really good perfect for mario kart and that casual playing i'm interested to see what the pro wheel has to offer other than size though so a much bigger pedal set yeah that, that's a lot different on the pedal front so they got much bigger pedal set if you're really pr i can't i don't understand why anyone would take mario kart this seriously though like come on the guys why it's huge this is a full-size wheel my word Oh, and this has a table clamp as well. So you can, you can mount this to a racing simulator if you really wanted to. This is massive. Look at the size of that thing. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, this, is, oh, this seems excessive for Mario Kart. I, I feel like I can't recommend this product because if you're buying a pro wheel just for Mario Kart, you're going down a slippery slope. And also inside of the box, it has got a table clamp. Yeah, it's got all the table clamps. It also has suction cups if you wanted to use those. But yeah, you can mount this to your desk. Part of me prefers this one. Uh, this feels just less aggressive. Next, we're going to take a look at a super popular Nintendo Switch accessory, which is the Split Pad Pro. I'm, I'm going to like this one. My biggest pain point with the Nintendo Switch is the fact I get cramped with these little Joy-Cons when you're playing uh, like this, you know, when you're on the go playing your games um, handheld. Whereas this provides you with a much larger surface area for your palms. So you've got this really nice grip here that you can obviously hold onto so it's much more comfortable for extended uh, gaming sessions. The Split Pad Pro is a fantastic add-on to the Nintendo Switch. I personally found it added much greater comfort for longer gaming sessions and I enjoyed all of the additional buttons and full-size buttons more importantly. You had massive triggers on there and a great D-pad that was easy to use. I definitely found my hands didn't get that horrible cramp sensation that they do when we, I use the standard Joy-Cons and to be honest I think for $40 they are incredibly well priced for how much they enhance the experience. And at the back of these Joy-Cons, there is a little uh, programmable trigger here, so you can sort of go hardcore and map something to this. When it comes to installing these, it's super simple. They just slide into place like the official products uh, do. You just literally pop off your current Joy-Cons, throw the new ones on, and bam. Now, this, it does increase the size of the Switch, but it, it feels like a thousand times better in your hand. The only problem with the Split Pad Pro that could be a deal breaker for some players is the fact that there is no form of haptic feedback or vibrations in these controllers. Now while our focus is on some cool controllers, <laughs> this thing's gonna blow your mind. This right here is an arcade stick, but more specifically it actually works via Bluetooth and connects to the Nintendo Switch. This is the 8-bit Do arcade stick and it costs around $85 and it works on a variety of different platforms also including your PC. You can connect it via a Type-C USB cable, but I'm quite impressed as a product as a whole. Just look at the build quality on this thing. That is chunky mate, look at it. Oh, those buttons sound, mm. I think this was like a 400 pound accessory. The, the build quality on this is better than the Street Fighter stick that does cost a couple hundred dollars. This thing's quite accessible price wise. Now, of course, this is a fantastic accessory for various fighting games such as Mortal Kombat and also Street Fighter, 
But in addition to this, it's fantastic for some classic sort of retro arcade style games that you might be playing on the Nintendo Switch as well to have that really nostalgic vibe uh, that you're back in those 80s arcade machines. Now, by far one of the coolest products in this entire video is the official LEGO Nintendo set, the Nintendo Entertainment System. This thing costs around $230, and for that money, it's worth every single penny. Not only do you get a super cool recreation of the NES console itself, you also get a really awesome controller that even plugs into the front of the console with its very own cable. To then complete the entire package, there is a game cartridge, which is a copy of the Super Mario game, and you can even open up the console and put this cartridge inside of it, just like you would with the authentic console in your bedroom back in the 80s. But where this gets even crazier is the fact that the console also has its very own TV. Not only does this TV look pretty awesome, it does actually play its very own version of the Super Mario game. At the back, there is this crankshaft that you move with your hand, and then the TV screen will move Mario around the display as he traverses through a real-life level. It's completely unnecessary that this actually works, but also justifies why the set is quite expensive. It's very clever how this operates. Coming back to your gaming sessions at home, now we're going to take a look at a Pro Controller so you can get a little bit hardcore. Now right here, I've got the official Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch, which it's quite expensive. This thing costs like $65. I don't know whether the price was a little bit higher because this is the official uh, Legends of Zelda type one. I do have the, the console here, so I thought why not get the corresponding controller? But this gives you more of a traditional gamepad that you can use, especially if you like playing the with the Nintendo Switch when it docked into your TV screen. Now, of course, using your Joy-Cons with that adapter provided in the box is an okay option for when you do want to do some couch gaming with your Nintendo Switch. However, this does provide a, a much better overall experience. Like that, These triggers feel great. It's very comfortable in the hand, you know, it's something that you're used to when you're playing your Xbox and PlayStation. And because of all of these various factors, it just means if you're going to be playing for an extended duration and a few hours at a time, especially on a story game like Zelda, it's just going to be much more pleasurable. The Pro Controller is very easy to set up. It just wirelessly connects to the Nintendo Switch, and then you can hop into the controller settings and uh, remap various aspects of the buttons, which I did like quite a lot. I particularly like this because something that I struggle quite a lot with when it comes to Nintendo games is my muscle memory coming from Xbox and PlayStation. Like I always go to click A, but then like that's the B button or something. Like it's like the other way around, like everything's slightly altered a little bit. So by having like the Pro Controller and having more of that gamepad experience chilled out on the sofa, uh, I could remap the buttons for that particular gamepad to be a little bit more like what I'm used to when it comes to my Xbox and PlayStations. Now, as I mentioned, this Pro Controller is pretty expensive at $65. So if you are on a budget, this 8-bit do wireless adapter could be the perfect option for you. So this thing costs around $15 to $18, depending on the time of year when you purchase it. Oh, screw it. Let's just tear it open. I'm sick of messing about. And what this can do is rather spectacular. So you plug this into your Nintendo Switch or your docking station, and it allows you to use any controller, PlayStation, Xbox, or you name it, with this. You can just connect it via this into the Switch, and it just increases the compatibility. This is great if you already own a PlayStation or Xbox. It means you then don't have to go and spend a fortune on an official Nintendo controller just for your Switch. But also, it's great if you're a little bit restricted on space. Like, I have millions of controllers. We, we buy controller for so many videos. We just have shelves and shelves of controller. And I'm sick of the sight of controllers. So being able to buy something like this and use my entire collection I already have is, uh, is pretty cool. Another interesting product that I came across by 8-Bit Do was this like retro game controller. This costs around $40 and it gives you sort of quite nostalgic vibes of an old Nintendo console. You know, you've got that sort of gray and uh, the overall shape of it too. This comes in a few different colors and could be a great option for multiplayer gaming. So you could buy a couple of these, especially if you could pick them up in a sale for maybe like $30 so that's not too expensive. You could buy a few of these and it just makes sort of couch co-op a little bit more fun. You can throw them about, you know, they're not like super expensive, like the real Joy-Cons and the actual Pro Controller for the Switch. So they're a little bit more casual. And then because it's Bluetooth, it does work on multiple other devices, such as your Android smartphone, Mac OS, you can use it with Steam, so you could connect this up to your PC. So it just gives you a little bit more flexibility if you want to use it on some of your other gaming platforms. I also think it's probably a brilliant option if you like playing retro games in particular, like some of those really old school Nintendo titles from like the, the N64 and even the NES. You've got that 
throwback feeling when you're using it. Now, we don't know about you, but with these next products, I'm not entirely convinced that you really need them. These are a bunch of different accessories for obviously the new version of Nintendo Wii Sports, Switch Sports. So you can throw your Joy-Cons into this and play the golf game. You've also got these weird ones. It's like a sword. Really don't know why you'd want this. Looks like a health and safety hazard. Uh, you then got these little straps that you can put on to like your arms. And oh, I, I don't know why you'd want these. It's just clutter for the house. Uh, but then the coolest one, and this, this is giving me nostalgic vibes of the Nintendo Wii, it's an actual tennis racket. Like you went for, for Wii Sports on the Nintendo Wii, you actually had the tennis rackets. Those were epic unless you launched them at the TV screen because you weren't wearing the wrist strap. Now of everything in this box, the two that are pretty cool are the golf clubs and this one. Th these could be worth it. We'll, we'll find out when we try them in a moment. But this entire product bundle cost me around $20, $22. So it's so pretty cheap. So you're not, it's not breaking the bank to even just get these two. Particularly within this sports bundle, I absolutely love the attachments for the golf game and also tennis. Both of these really gave me like a throwback to the Nintendo Wii and also they by far actually enhanced the experience, especially on the golf one. You could sort of grip the clubs uh, and have a proper technique to it. I play golf in real life, so it, it was pretty fun to have that. Also as well, because I am left-handed when it comes to golf and cricket, out the box, the Joy-Cons were the wrong way around, but luckily you can rotate the, uh, the end of the golf club to actually fit left-handed and right-handed. So it meant I could use it uh, the way I wanted to, which at first I was concerned it didn't support. Now, in addition to this, the attachments for the tennis game were also pretty good. Uh, it, it meant the, the racket felt a little bit better, but a little bit of a problem. I don't know whether this was an issue with the racket or whether I just wasn't hitting it hard enough because I was worried about hitting the people I was playing with. But for some reason, there was just some form of like tracking issues, if that makes sense. So every time I was going to swipe, wouldn't register the swipe so I didn't know whether the attachment was maybe blocking something I personally think I just wasn't swiping hard enough for it to register so we'll we'll roll with that but overall it was still a lot of fun now the other attachments inside of the box I thought were pretty pointless like the ones for the fencing games and all that type of just just a load of clutter but for around twenty dollars just getting those two add-ons I think it's worth it bringing ourselves back to reality and some more sensible things you should purchase for your Nintendo Switch are some pretty neat little carrying cases that I found online. Now this first one here is a limited edition Super Mario case and I love the design on this thing and it also has a matching controller. These were Amazon exclusive and I thought they looked amazing. Now this same company makes a bunch of different variations of this exact case. There was a really cool one for Pokemon as well, like Pikachu. And then inside you've got a fantastic layout and storage. It fits both the regular Switch and also the Switch Lite. You can then throw your game cards in here, then some nice uh, little zip storage for all of your charging cables and stuff. What I love in particular is that your game cartridges actually cover up the screen. So it just makes things a little bit safer. So your, your power plugs or something don't scratch your, the, the screen on your device, which is always a little bit stressful. Another cool one that I found made by a different brand that was also Mario themed was this one right here that maybe a little bit over the top you know it's got Mario's entire outfit on there it's got these like dungarees pretty cool I guess, I guess if you're a little bit younger something like this uh, could be a nice option but the only drawback of this one is I don't think the interior is quite as good as these ones you know you've you got storage and stuff but not to the extent as this one the brand that makes the cool Pikachu and Super Mario case do also have just a super basic one in grey if that's what you wanted. But if you want something a little bit more flashier, there's this Pokemon carrying case that's a little bit on the larger size, but if you've got like a backpack, shouldn't be a problem. But you do have a nice amount of storage inside of here for your Switch, some of your games, and a little bit of cable storage. But this one here, I think, has the best versatility. All of these carrying cases and bags range between $18 to $20, so they're pretty good price. But if you already have a carrying case and you don't need a new one, and you want some extra storage for some of your game cards, this cool little Game Boy, it's like a little Game Boy console, only costs around $7 and it just gives you some little slots and it's nice and small. You can throw this in your jacket pocket, your pants pocket, you can throw it in your backpack and it's really lightweight too. It's a pretty nice option and stays on theme with the whole portable gaming aspect of your Nintendo console. So it's a pretty nice option. Now, something that I'm way too excited to try out, I feel like a huge kid right now, is this Mario Kart Live. This thing costs around $90. Hope it's worth every single penny. Basically, it's like these remote control cars 
that you throw down on the floor and it turns your living room, your kitchen, your house, wherever you want to use them, it turns it into a real life Mario Kart circuit that you control with the Switch. This Mario home circuit is a pretty cool accessory. You create your own racetrack within your house and then the cameras on the little go-kart RC cars will allow you to see where you're driving and you control all of this through your Switch and also the screen on your Switch. Biggest problem is though, it's, it's gonna be you know, it's just the price of it. So for around $90, you get the Mario Kart and also all of the different like stage gates, you could say, little cardboard cutout things. But you don't get any other car. I thought for 90 quid I was getting Luigi as well. So you've then got to buy additional vehicles in order to play this with multiple people. Then obviously as well, you then need additional switches. So it's going to be pretty expensive. You're going to need to buy another Nintendo Switch OLED or whatever. Or a little bit of a better alternative could be something like a Switch Lite that's much cheaper. Now, if you do want to get the Mario Kart circuit, then a way to do it on the cheap, <laughs> the cheap, that's like a ridiculous thing to say, is to purchase something like the Switch Lite. This thing is around $185, so it's a little bit cheaper. They're around $200 cheaper than a Nintendo Switch OLED, for example. So this would allow you to obviously use this, use this as an additional controller. And it's also a nice uh, portable option, I guess you could say, because like it's a little bit cheaper, so you can like take this to school, you're a little bit less stressed about your super expensive console. There are some drawbacks to the Nintendo Switch Lite. For example, the Joy-Cons aren't removable. It is an all-in-one unit, which for some people, they may actually quite like that because of how they intend to use it. Like I personally don't really take the Joy-Cons off of my Nintendo Switch, so I wouldn't really miss that level of functionality and I must admit I am a bit of a sucker for its form factor <laughs> I quite like its size it's definitely much more appropriate for extremely casual gamers that don't really care too much about the best graphics the best resolution for the overall display and they, they just want to have some fun while our focus is on the hardware side of the Nintendo Switch I want to briefly touch over some of the official expansion cards that you can pair with your console. Now, if you are brand new to owning a Nintendo Switch, you may not be aware that you can expand the internal storage with some micro SD cards. As you can see right here on the Nintendo Switch Lite, you can open up this door and throw a card in. Now, you do not have to buy an official Nintendo card. These things are super expensive, like 30 to $35, mainly because they are Nintendo themed. Like this is like a Mario one. This is a Fortnite one out of interest. And for that $35, you are only getting 256 gigabytes of storage, which, which isn't too bad for one of these types of devices. But instead, you could just buy a dead regular SanDisk a 256 gigabyte micro SD card for about $15, like half the price, and achieve the exact same thing. But if you are a hardcore fan, I must admit these officially licensed uh, Nintendo SD cards are really cool. The designs are tidy. Next, let's switch our focus to some audio options for gaming with your Nintendo Switch. Now, you probably don't want to have the more traditional gaming headset. You, you, they, they do work with the Switch, but they might be a little bit bulky considering that you're probably using this for portable gaming. So I found some gaming earbuds alternatives across three different price ranges that you could take a look at. Now, the first one's actually the official gaming headset earbuds for the Nintendo Switch. These are super duper cheap. They were only about $15. They look pretty good. They're also fairly comfortable and they also have a chat microphone. Thankfully, this is detachable though, so you don't look like a massive nerd if you also wanted to use these for listening to music. The color scheme also matches perfectly if you have a standard Nintendo Switch with the uh, blue and red, and they're a pretty solid option considering their price point. Now, if you wanted something a little bit more premium and also, I guess, a bit more versatile because they do definitely work with like your Android or, or smartphone because they're like just standard earbuds. I bought these ones here. I did buy these ones. I do obviously work a lot with Logitech. They, they send products out or whatever, but I, I genuinely purchased these off their website. So these cost me around $45. And the reason why I picked these in particular was mainly because of their color scheme. So these have, they come in multiple different colors. You can get them in black, you can get them in white, and you can get them in this purple. Now I thought this purple and yellow sort of matched the Wario character uh, out of the Mario games so if you wanted something kind of like Nintendo themed but not they were quite a cool and fun option and as well from all of the different testing I was really impressed with both the audio quality and also the built-in microphone for just having phone calls and even chatting in the game. Now obviously those are some wired options when it comes to your earbuds but if you wanted something wireless there are two alternatives that I've got here. First ones are the Logitech G Fits. These are what I currently use personally when I travel everywhere on airplanes or whatever. Cool thing about these are obviously the Bluetooth but they mold specifically to your ear shape. So when you first get them, 
you'll put them in your ear and they'll be like dead loose the fit on them and not be proper and basically you'll go through the app setup and they'll heat up and mold to the exact shape of your ear very similar technology to what musicians like myself use when we perform on stage to sort of protect our hearing and get like a seal so we can just hear our in-ear monitor mix exact same technology as that but in like a cool casual pair of uh, earbuds and they sound great i absolutely love these but if there's a, these are a little bit too expensive, you can pick them up for $150 usually in like sort of prime day sale or something. If these are a little bit too expensive and you still wanted something wireless. Uh, the LG FN4s are my previous go-to earbuds before I replaced them with these. And you get those for usually like $35, $40. And they're just some cool, well, almost like Apple AirPods, but in black. Uh, wireless headphones that you could also use. So this next accessory is perfect for any retro hardcore Nintendo fans. This is a Super Nintendo emulator there's also the standard nes as well the standard nes that you can get now this was really expensive i don't know whether it was like the time of year they're out of stock or something but this was 300 dollars to purchase this off of amazon and it only has about 20 games on it which isn't that many you know, when you buy them fake emulators obviously those come with like thousands of games on them for like 40 pounds so that was a little bit of a shame but it was quite a lot of fun so the build quality of this thing is absolutely fantastic it looks just like the original console but like a mini version and also the game pads just feel so much better than anything you would get from like a fake version of Amazon. They, they felt really official and good. Now, pretty much all of the classic titles you would want to play on here, like the cliche ones, Super Mario, you know, Mario World, all that type of stuff, those are available to play. I played a little bit of uh, Mario Kart on this two-player as well, because it comes with two controllers, which is pretty nice. The major issue with the controllers, though, is the length of the cable. Like, it's super short, so we couldn't sit at the sofa. We had to, like, pull up some chairs. A little bit old school, you know, sit on the floor or whatever, but that was a little bit of a shame. But still a good throwback and a bit of nostalgia for some Nintendo players. Keeping on theme with some of the old school Nintendo products, I found this awesome OG GameCube controller that only cost around $24. And it was actually a Zelda themed one too, to sort of match my limited edition console. Now this is pretty nice if you like that retro vibe when it comes to your game pads. You maybe prefer this over some of the more expensive modern pro controllers. It's just a great alternative. I know especially for some of my brothers, they would absolutely love this option uh, to pair with their modern Nintendo console. And it's a pretty solid option considering its price point at around $24. It's an officially licensed product and although it is wired it's a decent length of cable so you can actually get away with sitting at the sofa now the final accessory is by far one of the coolest and actually has nothing to do with the nintendo switch and that is these custom keycaps that you can purchase for your keyboard now i specifically purchased a corsair mini keyboard to go with this just because the key layout matched this much better than the one i use personally on my desk and for around 10 to 15 dollars you can purchase these mario or pikachu keycaps depending on which one you prefer and you can switch them out on this keyboard just literally take off the default black ones or white ones whatever you've got and put your uh, custom ones on there and the end results are pretty cool now something that took me by surprise with these custom keycaps are that they do work on full-size keyboards as well all of the images on amazon just show them working on tkl keyboards the much smaller ones but there are also arrow keys and num keypad uh, keycaps that you can throw on if you have a much larger keyboard so you don't have to purchase uh, a mini one just exclusively uh, for this setup like I did. These are some of the coolest Nintendo accessories that you can buy but if you want to see me unbox some of the cheapest if you're gaming on a budget you should check out this video next.